Good day. Welcome to our third lesson in Basics for Engineers. And now, we're going to talk about dynamics. Our learning objectives are to define force and its interaction, to state the three Newton's law of motion, to determine the different types of forces, to apply Newton's law of motion on particles in equilibrium and dynamics, and solve problems in dynamics of circular motion. Our topic outline, first, force and interaction. Newton's law of motion. Types of forces. Applying Newton's law of motion. And finally, dynamics of circular motion. What causes bodies to move the way that they do? How can a tugboat push a cruise ship that's much heavier than the tug? Why is it harder to control a car on wet ice than on dry concrete? The answer of these and similar questions take us into the subject of dynamics, the relationship of motion to the forces that cause it. So in this lesson, we will use the concepts of force and mass to analyze the principles of dynamics. These principles are the Newton's law of motion. These are the foundation of classical mechanics, also called Newtonian mechanics. Force and interactions. Force is commonly language is a push or pull. A better definition of this is that force is an interaction between two bodies or between a body and its environment. Force is a vector quantity. You can push or pull a body in different directions. So when a force involves direct contact between two bodies, such as a launch of basketball or pull the skier, we call it a contact force because they arise from the physical contact between two subjects. We have three common types of contact forces. The normal force is exerted on a body by any surface with which is in contact. Normal means that a force always acts perpendicular to the surface of contact. Second, we have the friction force exerted on an object by a surface acts parallel to the surface in a direction that the forces sliding or the pulling force exerted by a stretch rope or cord on an object which is attached is called tension force. So when you tug on your dog's lead, the force that pulls on her collar is a tension force. So much more of this we will talk about in the later part of the lesson. So there are circumstances, however, in which two objects exert forces on one another, even though they are not touching. So such forces are referred to as non-contact force, or action at a distance force, or long range force. Example of non-contact force occur between two magnets and the object pulled towards the earth due to the force of gravity. The gravitational force that the earth exerts on, on your body is called your weight. 